Hey, this is Wes with Dirt Concepts. I'm up at Smack Track in St. Charles, Missouri, uh, doing a little bit of club racing. So today I'll be running 13.5 four-wheel drive buggy, as well as 17.5 two-wheel drive buggy and modified two-wheel drive buggy. Uh, I haven't had a chance to race the four-wheel drive buggy here in about six weeks or so, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there and uh, ripping with my TLR 22X4. Uh, it's the first time I've actually gotten to run any of these cars on slicks this season, uh, especially the four-wheel drive buggy. I haven't even tried it in practice, so uh, really looking forward to this, and we'll see how it goes. Let's take a closer look here um, at the surface. As you can see, it's a hard pack clay and it's sealed with glue. Um, what that does is allows the rubber uh, to flex on the surface. And uh, man, it's got some fine things. It's uh, pretty cool. You can see here the level of groove that's developed on the track. Um, really cool. Really cool. Alright, round one of qualifying is in the books. Uh, right now I'm sitting second in 17.5 tool drive buggy. Had a decent run. Uh, did manage to stuff it into the pipe once. I'm going to try to clean it up here in this uh, round two. Uh, mod tool drive buggy, same story. Had a pretty good run. Stuffed in the pipe once. And I'm going to hope to improve it on that in the second round. Now, 13.5 uh, tool drive buggy. Um, didn't go as planned. Um, having a little bit of a tough time from a driving perspective on the slick tires. Um, so I'm hoping to make a few changes and adapt my driving and uh, make a little bit of improvement here for round two. Fifteen four to fifty two. Ronnie's gonna need a Hail Mary. 
All right, so I have round two qualifying done, and the first run in round three, which was 17.5 Cool Drive Buggy. Right now, I'm sitting third overall in 17.5 uh, Cool Drive Buggy. Um, I'm hoping I can get a really good run here in 13.5 Cool Mod Tool Drive and boost my starting position for uh, the A main. So I'm already in the A main, so that's good. But uh, it's been a little bit of a struggle today dealing with the, the slicks and the additional steering uh, that you usually see with slick tires. So I'm trying to address my driving as well as uh, the steps of my cars and I'm moving in a positive direction I've actually been able to cut over a lap uh, improvement since the day started so um, I made a few more changes here uh, for this round and we're gonna see if I can improve that and uh, Hopefully start you know in the top two or three uh, in every class Banya Isaac Wes Good And Ronnie I just want to take a minute here and kind of walk through some of the setup changes I've made uh, to my B6.4D 175 uh, buggy. Um, so first off, ride height, um, I ended up going down. Um, I started at 17, uh, went back, went down to 15, and then kind of had some struggles with uh, landing on the jumps, um, as well as that track one, which is why I went down. So um, I went back up to 16, and the buggy feels really good um, at that ride height. Now, some of the other changes I made, uh, for example, I actually went up in my uh, front uh, hub height to uh, plus two from plus one, which is kit. Um, I also, to compensate for that, um, I did go up one millimeter on my uh, inner camera link ball stud washer. And then to correct the uh, bump steer, um, I actually put my bell cranks in the high uh, position. Um, that about wraps up the front. Now as far as the rear, um, because I went down to 16, it's pretty low right height, I actually left my dip. Um, at the plus two height, which is kick. Um, and then I went up to plus three on my rear hubs. Um, to compensate for that, I also went up two millimeters on my inner camber length, so I could keep the same geometry. Um, and I felt like these changes really helped lock in the buggy. It wasn't traction rolling anymore. Um, as well as, you know, it, it, uh, it was able to kind of scrub a little bit in the turns, which is what you want for really high grip. Um, would be slick. So uh, the surface we run on is a is a glue uh, surface with a ton of rubber on it. So um, it is very very high grip. Um, you know, everybody race on it says it's comparable or actually exceeds uh, black carpet. So um, it's pretty pretty intense level of grip. Um, so if you're in this situation, I think these are good changes to make. Um, go ahead and raise your front and rear hubs uh, plus one and the inner camera link ball studs. When you do that, remember to correct your bump steer in the front by raising your um, your steering arms, your bell cranks, I'm sorry, up into the high position. Uh, if you do that, I think it'll really help with uh, some of your traction roll issues.
Isaac Lee Dunn, Kevin Day Dunn, Nick Worley Dunn, Barnard Dunn, West Mirror Val Dunn. Anyway, I just want to take a sec to kind of walk through what we're doing these tires to make them work well. Um, so, in this case, I'm using, uh, they were AKA scribbles. Um, I actually sand them down using my uh, pedal sander uh, down to like just right about a ghost pin or maybe a little bit under that. Um, and then I scuff it in uh, in the right direction with a scotch brite pad. <clears throat> After that, um, what I do is lay a very, very light coat of, um, of CA glue or tire glue um, right about where, if you can see, it's right about where the tread, the flat part of it starts. That's where you want to stop uh, with the glue. All right? You do that only on the fronts, on the outside of the fronts. Um, on the rear tires, you want to make sure that you have a very healthy, thick bead of glue. Um, it's hard to focus here. Uh, all the way around the bead of the tire. Um, if you do that, it, it helps the tire. It, it, it basically keeps you from traction rolling. It gives some more support to that sidewall. Uh, it makes the car much easier to drive and predictable. So um, this is across the board. I do this for four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. So hope this helps. On the tone. 75, 8 and underway. Cole leading them out, and melee in the back of the goal. Oh my gosh. Here's he gonna lead them back for lap one. Right now, your biggest mover, Ken Schuler, to the five spot. Right now, top three, first train. Damn it. Watch the straightaway. Watch the middle double. It's clear. Alright. Four ten to go. It's Cole West, Bonnie, Nick, Ken, Andrew, Jeremy, Ernie, Chris King. James the transponder is working intermittently. I think it's broken. Find your leader being over here. Down the straightaway he goes. Leader is red, blue, a little bit of white. You see him give him some room. Second place all white. They are fighting. Minute 30 in. Oh, here you get a little loose. Let them all ever in the way. A little bit unfortunate incident from here. So he's going to have to hunt. Oh, he gets stuck. Oh. I believe that's going to put him in the fourth spot. It is West, Nick, Bonnie, Cole, Ken, Ernie, Andrew, Chris, James. I can't see. I believe James Bernard has a missing transponder. That's not working correctly. We will fix him after the race. Oh, who's that? Right now, West has a 1.5 second lead over Nick, who's got a 4 10 Gap over Ronnie, but that was closer on the track. Oh, Vanya stop. Oh. Oh. Vanya tried it. That's going to space things out. Two more five it is West, Nick, Cole, Vanya, Ken, Ernie, Andrew, Chris. I believe the Chris Light is out of control. Minute 50. Oh, why are you having some trouble? Oh no. Right now, the closest battle on the track is Bonnie and Stewart. You gotta get out of the way, guys. 
I got taken out by laugh traffic. That sucks. <laughs> oh well, it's racing. I didn't do half of them. Get to the point. That was such a good race. Yeah, great race. Charles, as long as he keeps it smooth, he's got this. 
Vanya making a mistake. Isaac going to take that three spot back. 13-9 last time for me with time expiring. Oh, Nate getting around me, dude. Damn, Nate. Nate busting a move there. That's a wrap to club racing. I ended up uh, fifth place in two-wheel drive mod buggy. Super fun race, really close. Uh, it was in second at one point, all the way down to eighth, back up to third, and then back down to fifth. Uh, really, really had a lot of fun uh, with that A-Main. Uh, in the A-Main of 17.5, again, super close race. Ended up third place overall after that one. Uh, said and done, but uh, I led most of the race, got tangled up a little bit with lap traffic, and uh, you know, hey, it's racing, so. Uh, it was still a lot of fun. Now in 13.5, uh, started second um, and was in second or third for uh, majority of the race. I uh, got tangled up with lap traffic again and uh, it was hard to recover from that. I think I ended up uh, fourth is where I finished in that race. It doesn't go. Uh, anyway, uh, Westerners Concepts out and I will see you on the next one.